So one of the fastest ways to get more subscribers, get more views, get more likes, and get more comments on your real estate YouTube videos is to simply ask other real estate agents to do those things to your videos. And in fact, there's entire Facebook groups just for real estate agents to watch, like, and comment other agents YouTube videos. But there are a couple of catches to growing your YouTube channel this way. One being that you are doing absolutely irreversible damage to your channel that your channel may never recover from. Two, this is against YouTube's terms of policies and they could in fact delete your entire channel and all of your videos for participating in this type of activities. And three, your videos are not gonna reach your target audience because you were confusing the heck out of YouTube's AI and not sending clear messages to them of who you want your videos to be reaching. So today I'm gonna teach you why sub for sub is such a bad idea and how you can hack the YouTube algorithm to get you more views, more subscribers, and generate you more leads. So have you ever noticed that when you watch a new channel or a new video topic, the next time you log into YouTube, you see similar videos on your homepage. And as you're browsing around YouTube, you're gonna see those similar videos as a suggested video alongside the one that you're watching. And you may even see videos from a new creator that you've recently watched start showing up in your search result. This is because YouTube's algorithm is looking at your viewing history to decide what content to show you in the future. Great example of this is if you ever have your kid log into your YouTube account to watch cartoons, the next time you log in, YouTube's gonna start promoting those same cartoons for you throughout your YouTube experience. And this is because they're looking at your recent watch history to determine what to promote to you. And you can actually log into your watch history and delete those videos from it, and then YouTube won't promote those types of videos to you anymore. And this is why Sub for Sub is so bad for your channel. You see, YouTube actually looks at the audience that watch your videos, they look at their watch history, and then finds more audience just like them to show your videos to. So let's say I publish a new video and then I go and post it in one of these sub for sub Facebook groups or even I post it on my own personal Facebook page. And let's say I send 200 real estate agents to go and watch that video. What's gonna happen is YouTube's then gonna look at those real estate agents watch history, see if they have anything in common. And let's say YouTube then determines that the people who watch my videos also watch stuff about lead generation and growing businesses and lead conversion. They're then gonna find similar audiences who also watch that type of content and then promote my video to them. And obviously my video about Annapolis is not gonna be relevant to somebody looking up lead conversion and lead generation. So that video is not gonna perform very well. The click-through rate's gonna go down. If they do watch it, the audience retention is going to go down. And now I've really confused YouTube about who my target audience is. And this is how we can actually hack the YouTube algorithm to get us more views and more subscribers by only sending our target audience to our videos. By doing this, YouTube's gonna look at their watch history and then find a similar audience that are watching a similar type of content. For example, instead of me sharing my video about Annapolis, Maryland on my personal page, where it's gonna get viewed by other real estate agents and maybe my mom and my aunts and my uncles, I could only share that in an Annapolis, Maryland Facebook group of people who actually live in my city. YouTube's then gonna look at their watch history and see that some number of them also watch videos about restaurants in Annapolis or things to do in Maryland. And then they're gonna find similar audiences to them to promote my video as on their homepage and their search results, as well as a suggested video when they're on YouTube. And this is one of the secrets of growing on YouTube is to give YouTube a very clear message of who your target audience is so that they can promote your videos to similar audiences on YouTube. If you wanna learn the 10 must do videos to start generating new leads for your real estate business, click right here to watch my video breaking that down. And if you're ready to jumpstart your real estate YouTube channel and start generating leads on autopilot, check out my course at youtubeleadgen.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys over in the next video.